We all wish the best for our kids. Our actions, while in good intentions, can be toxic for their development. Old ways of thinking and raising children are not as easy anymore, especially with the social media that is shifting our kids' focus towards material things. It seems being nice is not as essential and significant as it used to be, and we are unknowingly instead raising narcissistic and self-absorbed kids. The present culture is about self-interest at the cost of others' feelings, and this is leading to bullying and aggression. One, spend quality time with your kids. Face-to-face -face communication is declining with all the technology available. Even if this tip is a no-brainer, it's not an easy one, and it needs a lot of practice and determination. However, once it is mastered, parent-children relation will get better and better. Pause everything when you are with your child. No texting, no calls, no TV. Even during your car ride, do not let your children put their earphones on and get disconnected from you. Fight the habit of constant phone checking, as face-to-face -face communication can positively affect your child's emotional and social development. Make sure that you eat together with no digital devices. Take advantage of this time to discuss anything. This way, your kids will learn to share their opinion, to hear others, and disagree respectfully. 2. Teach them how to refuse temptation. Standing up for important principles is not an easy task and peer pressure can make kids doubt themselves and hesitate to act morally. To help them avoid this scenario, you can create a slogan that describes your family. For example, we treat each other the way we want to be treated. We are kind even if no one is looking. Kids need to hear the motto often to internalize it. This way they start having a map to guide them through their actions. Moreover, help them question their actions. Would I want this to be done to me? Does this go against my beliefs? Is it helpful? Is it hurtful? 3. Teach them how to manage their emotions Our life is moving too fast and becoming more stressful. It's not easy to keep up with all of this, and it's very important to teach our kids how to control their emotions, how to stay in control, how to make wise decisions, and how not to let stress and anxiety affect them. Teach them how to relax in stressful situations. Breathing tactics are important to help them relax and think clearly. They should be taking deep, slow breaths by breathing through their nose and exhaling through their mouth. The exhale can be twice as long as the inhale to maximize relaxation. And when practicing this technique, they can close their eyes and visualize a calm place. You can also do with them this fun and helpful breathing technique. Four, make them understand the other perspective. When children can grasp another perspective, they are more likely to be caring, less judgmental, value differences, speak up for those who are victimized, more helpful and supportive. Choose the right moment to explain the other perspective. Let's say your son teased his sister and she started crying. Explain why she was sad. Ask him what would he feel if it was the other way around. Try role switching so that he can feel what he has caused. 5. And most importantly, model the behavior you want to see. Children are like sponges. They take in all we do. Everything from how we treat others, how we deal with difficult situations, how we handle anger. All of this teaches them right from wrong. Being a role model in crucial circumstances may create powerful images for your children to deposit in their brains. Work on being a good role model. This very basic tip is a life-saving one.